let's get into that tease. All right, the, the three things for these Tigers, uh, they're, they're priorities, but really they're requirements, mm-hmm. like of what Ooh. this ownership Drop group the heat. has to do this offseason. This is the only time we're talking offseason today because the Tigers are in the middle yeah. of a World Series run. We, 11 we more might wins. talk a little more and they win the. We, we could, but we, we want to appreciate the guys now. No, I mean, <laughs> would you rather? We might. Oh, okay, oh, fair, oh, fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. fair. We're Ho- going here. Hopefully, I don't uh, uh, steal anything with this. But three priorities. Number one, this is an absolute must. You must buy out Javi Baez. Don't, don't, don't. That needs to be your move. Number one, it has to. I want to temper everyone's expectations because I don't think the big free agent spending is happening this, happening this offseason. Maybe they add a bat like a Jesse Winker, like uh, Flannel likes, or a Lam- uh, Lamont Wade, or maybe a starting pitcher or another bullpen arm. They're going to add pieces again, hopefully a little better than Mark Canna and Gio Urshela, but they're going to add pieces like that because a chunk of that spending, 73 mil, has got to go to Javi Baez. And I think Chris Illich and the ownership group, that's what's thought of as part of their big spend this offseason Then in 2026, or, or excuse me, after the 2025 season, then they know, they really know who's the core of this team. They got Clark and McGonagall, how you lead Jaden Ham. They got dudes who have arrived. That's when they spend. Number two, and this is actually, this might be the most important. You have to lock Chris Fetter up mm. long term. You give him whatever he wants. One more time. You have to lock pitching coach Chris Fetter up long term. Whatever he needs, whatever he likes, you put it on the table. Give him Chris some little Fetter. Caesars commercials, bro. Anything. Give him anything. Yeah, we got the Forge right down the street. Get him a <laughs> Ford commercial. Get him a Ford car. Something. Anything. 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 He doesn't need much. He's a simple man. He's a very smart man. He's, he doesn't need much, but you have to lock him up. You know why? Let me tell you about the 2005 University of Michigan baseball team. Big 10 champion 2005 University of Michigan baseball team featured Chris Fetter on him, go blue. as his freshman and senior Chris Getz, who is mm. currently president of baseball operations and general manager of the Chicago White Sox. Thanks. Depending if they don't keep Grady Sizemore, which I don't think they will. We know what the White Sox are. Mm-hmm. Chris Getz is coming, and he's laying the bag down. He's giving Chris Fetter an offer he can't refuse. you got to beat him to the punch. You have to beat Chris Getz and the White Sox to the punch Mm -hmm. because what Chris Fetter is doing, and it's not just Chris Fetter. He's amazing. It's what he's doing with A.J. Hinch, with Robin Lund and Juan Nieves, and the entire pitching development program. That's all led by Chris Fetter, and it's just getting started. They're just getting started with their plan. They're planning to bring in pitchers like Lorenzen, like Flaherty, um, projects or, or guys who were great, something happened, they're not the same, the reclamation projects. Their goal, and I think it might happen this coming year, they want it to happen this year, is that those guys, instead of the plan being to trade them at the deadline, the still doesn't make sense. He was a two-year rental. You got three great players from him for that trade. You got to lock Chris Fetter up. He's part yeah. of this entire magic. And lastly... You have to also make Tarek Skubal an offer he can't refuse. Yes. You, mm. his, his agent, Scott Boris, does not want to sign before free agency, which is in two years. You got Tarek Skubal, AL Cy Young, going to be winner, triple crown winner, best pitcher in baseball. You lock him up. You, you give him an extension he can't refuse. He's 27, right? You might have to offer him six years, $300 million. You might have to give him 50 mil a year to avoid Scott Boris taking him to free agency. That might be what it takes. And you pitch it. Hey, Tarek, you're going to be 33 again as a free agent. You're going to get another contract. We don't want to lock you up for 10 years so you're 37 and maybe you've lost it by the end and can't get another, you know, five, six-year contract. Sign with us for six years. Let's do this, baby. We'll give it our best Mm -hmm. shot. And then he has – they have the history of seeing what they did with JV – and with Max as well, man. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, That's, sheesh, I'm definitely down with that. There's you your know three what? things. And you know what? Lock him up because I hear people all the time. You already know what the, the complaint from some of the detractors is going to be. Why not use that money on bats rather than a pitcher, even though how good he is? He's only going to pitch once every five games. Well, when we hit the playoffs, playoffs. those same people, <laughs> right, took the little scorecards out and say, oh, that game one is a win. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me if you are putting together a playoff team, you got to have a scuba. You have to. When you know you can go into any game that that guy is pitching, and no, I don't care what our bats do. I don't care what you think your pitchers are going to do. We're coming away with a dub because that's what scuba does. That's why that guy gets the money. And then guess what happens in the playoffs? Hey, I know you need your rest. And I know, Broder, pitching 
pitchers need to rest. But in the playoffs, when you're throwing everything at the you know, out the window, Scooble's one of those horses that you know, hey, bro, we might need you to play one, play a game earlier. One more pregame ibuprofen to get that sore in the that, and That's what I'm talking more. about, man. It's like lock him up. I'm so glad that you stated that because – it's going to be one of those topics of discussion. Derek Skubal, you know he's going to get the bag, and people are going to wonder, if Chris Illich doesn't really spend that much and the money's going to go to Skubal, is that going to mean that the, the lineup now is not getting the bats that it needs? We're not getting another starter to compliment him? But you see already the type of effect that Skubal has mm-hmm. on this team. If you're locking up Fetter, lock up Skubal, because I believe in what Fetter can get uh, in, in conjunction with Hinch, out of the rest of that lineup. Great point. Great point. And it's out of Scoobal, too. And Chuck Brewer, I'm so glad you said this because I didn't make the point clear enough. I didn't make it at all. Um, of why I have Fetter and his contract extension as the number two priority over Scoobal. Hmm. Because Fetter being there long term is part of your pitch to Tarek Scoobal. Yep. Hey, Ooh. you get to stay here for six, seven, eight years, whatever it is. And Chris Fetter's here along the way that entire time. Not... All right, so Fetter's leaving this year uh, or next year. You get we don't know what the future holds. Right. Plus, if if Scooble ever leaves, you have somebody that can develop your pitching going forward. Exactly. It, it, it makes sense. Exactly. So so that was it. And the three hundred mil, I pulled it out. I didn't pull that number out of nowhere. I think JV and Max Scherzer are still the highest paid pitchers at <laughs> which is crazy. Like forty three point five mil a year. It's like between forty one and forty four mil. So hey, maybe it just takes. A fifty million dollar a year, con- the the biggest in probably pitcher history. I should yeah. check that, but there's my three. I just wanted to say those things before I uh, um, went off into the abyss. Um, <laughs> you won't be going to the abyss. Yeah, right. We'll see you on Sunday. I don't man. get each day. I don't get each day to like, yeah, you know, yeah. give my opinion. But you guys are gonna crush it. That was my three points.